The weather is finally warm and beautiful so let me show you my vacation collection that I've curated for summer 2024 and let's not waste any time because I have a lot of outfits to talk about. I plan my vacation outfits according to our itinerary. Day one and the very last day are usually spent traveling so you need some comfortable airport looks. For that, I have a very cute option, these off-white overalls from Joe Fresh. This is my first time shopping from this brand and I'm pleasantly surprised by the quality. I'm wearing these white sneakers with champagne detail. I also used a straw hat because keeping them in your luggage can mess up their shape. And my go-to sunglasses, a brown spacious tote bag from Songmon. By the way, this is their new Mon collection, perfect for traveling. So this is our look number one. Very cute and since it's one piece, very easy to put together. Now if you're clumsy like me and want to stay away from anything white, I have another airport look for you. I got this quad set from Rio Oz. You might remember this vest from my previous video, such a versatile piece. You can dress it up for the office or dress it down with sneakers for a casual look. And if you like modest outfits, I'm 1000% sure you will be so comfortable in a set like this one. Just pair it up with your sneakers and a tote bag and you're good to go. What I love about this fit is that these trousers are a bit oversized. They give you a really nice shape. You look really relaxed and effortless. And I think that's exactly what we all want for our airport looks to look like. I am someone who always freezes on planes so outfit 1 and 2 are perfect for me but I totally understand if you don't. In that case, just tweak this outfit a bit and switch the pants for shorts. Not those tight denim short shorts, they won't look good. Try something airy and comfortable in fabrics like linen and cotton. Here I am going with white linen shorts because white with navy is a combination that will never fail you. Brown accessories look really nice with anything blue like navy and that's why I have completed the look with the same black brown tote bag from Songwon. And a huge shout out to Songwon for sponsoring today's video. You guys know how much I love this brand. This season they sent me a bag from their new Mont collection. You always leave a comment asking what size bag it is. Uh, this one is large Mont tote in the color Nightfall. And if I remember correctly, they have two colors in this collection, Dawn and Nightfall. I personally love the darker shade for vacations because you are likely to use it a lot and it's given that there will be some rough handling. Talking about the size and other details, it's spacious and can easily easily fit 15 to 16 inch laptops, ensuring you have all your travel and electronic essentials with you wherever you go. The best part for me is this side ear hook pocket that adds convenience and style making it perfect for commuting, shopping and even business trips. You can put your phone, sunglasses or lip gloss, things that you want to access frequently in this pocket. This bag has a very sleek design and we all know Songmont always uses durable materials so you can trust this bag to be your ideal companion for any trip. This bag is made from a sustainable blend of French linen and TPU making it lightweight and durable. TPU is great because it resists wear, oils, greases and solvents and I think the calfskin leather details add a touch of luxury. Plus when you don't want to use it, simply fold it up for compact storage saving space in your luggage. So if you are interested in checking out these bags, I will leave a link in the description box along with my coupon code for a sweet discount. And guys let me just say these collaborations are only possible because of your support and I want to thank Thank all of you so much for all the love. Your kind words mean the world to me and motivate me to keep creating content. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I don't know about you but I always pack a few dresses, one for roaming around the city, one for a dinner date and something more formal for visiting museums and places that might be boring for some of you. So let's start with something fancy for a dinner date. And what's better than a cute little black dress? A red midi dress. Love the square neck detail. I got a size medium but I wish I went with small for this one as well because the material is quite stretchy. And to complete the outfit just go with some fancy heels and a blingy bag. If there's one dress that I will not leave the house without, it's this coastal cowgirl open back long dress from Commence. That's the name that they have listed on their website. I'm not making it up. 
just imagine walking in this dress on a cobblestone streets of a beautiful little town during sunset. By the way, if you cannot tell already, this picture is photoshopped. To complete the look, I'm going to use a chunky pearl necklace. For the bag, I went with mellow yellow because for some reason, I had a feeling that both these colors will complement each other really well and I was not wrong. This color combination is just so good that you have to try it. This next dress is a bit more sophisticated option for visiting museums and similar places. I love how this unique shape creates an illusion of an hourglass figure while remaining chic and modest, especially with the neckline. And keep in mind this color is not your typical grey, it looks very expensive. If not for vacation, you can definitely buy this for the office and style it with some sheer leggings. To complete the look, I have my black heels, edgy sunglasses and same Songwon bag. This dress, as you can see, was a bit tight on me but I think one size up would have made it look baggy so uh, this was a perfect choice. Since this video is inclined towards beach vacation, let me show you another dress which is also a cover up in case you are planning on going to the beach before or after your walk in the city. Uh, this beautiful crochet cover up has my heart. This one is again from Commence. I love the fact that it's not that see through perfect if you want to keep everything modest and leave some room for imagination. However, I do agree that the neckline is a bit too revealing but this is what you get when you talk about beach cover ups and since this dress is kind of a statement piece on its own, I'd suggest you keep everything else minimal. I'll just go for some minimal earrings, flats and my straw bag with a hat. Now let's say this dress is not your taste, you want something more comfortable, I'd suggest that you pack a lightweight quad set, something cotton or linen. I am absolutely obsessed with the one that you see on your screen here. The top has these little strings in the front that you can tie to give it a ruched look. Now I agree sleeves are a bit big but they do look cute. Shots are double lined, not see through at all and by the way these are the same shots that I used for outfit number 2, the airport look. I'm just super happy with this one. Very well made, high quality, I just wish they had some more colors and uh, I guess that's my only complaint. Again to complete the look, I'm wearing brown sandals, a straw tote bag and some sunglasses. If you want, you can also add a hat and by the way, the size that I'm wearing in this set is medium. Now let's say you want something more practical and you don't want to change your outfits again and again to go to the beach and then to the city and back to your hotel room. In that case, you can always switch the top in your co-op set for your bikini top. In my case, it's one piece, so I'm just going to pair it up with the same white linen shorts. This will make your life so much easier. Just another outfit to keep in mind and I just wanted to show you that this is how you can tweak your outfits uh, to make it more practical and more convenient for you while you're on a vacation. And as you can tell, I'm already feeling the beach vibes. Now all the outfits from Commence were really nice, uh, 10 on 10. But to be honest, I was not so satisfied with this skirt. Uh, I saw an influencer style it on Instagram and when I looked it up online, I was under the impression that it is an embroidered skirt, like because it literally says embroidered asymmetric floral mini skirt. Unfortunately, it's not, but I wanted to style it still and show you what exactly it looks like. I will keep this as my backup outfit because I'm not gonna lie, this skirt is unique in a sense, embroidered or not, and going to pair it up with a simple cropped knotted shirt to make this skirt a statement piece and this completes the outfit. If you are a denim girl and want to wear your denim shorts, then I have an outfit idea for you. Something you can create from your wardrobe without spending any extra money. This fit is perfect if you are just roaming around the harbour front, exploring cafes and enjoying a casual day out. Throw an oversized shirt 
with your denim shorts and either tie it in the front or leave it open for a relaxed and effortless look. Stack a ton of jewelry and as for shoes, I'm sticking with the same sneakers for comfort and since this look leans more towards sporty at leisure vibe, I'll style a baseball cap to protect myself from the sun while adding a cool laid back element to this fit and of course, I'll have my shades and a tote bag to complete the outfit. Modest swimsuits are rare so let me show you uh, this next piece that comes with an attached layered skirt and I always feel very comfortable in it. It also comes with straps so if you want you can get more support uh, on your chest region if you don't like the tube top. And this was something that I just quickly wanted to show you in case you are looking for some modest swimsuit options. And talking about modest, I also got this boho print dress from H&M. I love the color, I love the print, but unfortunately this one is too big for me so I'll be returning it. However, I thought I could still show it to you in case you are interested. I'm wearing a size small and as you can see it's still too large for me. I was so sad because I really like how it looks. I tried styling it in a creative way but something feels off. Maybe it's the oversized fit or the way this print drapes. Despite that, the material is soft and breezy, perfect for warmer days and overall it's a lovely piece but it just didn't work out for me this time. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you find it helpful for your upcoming vacation and if you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!